Hi Lee. Well, I think it's pretty much done. I'm going to put a couple of door pulls on the tailgate back here. So to grab it like this and over here, make that tailgate a little bit easier to pull up out of those pockets. I had to plane those two befores off on the table saw because they're uh, being treated. They're just they're so full of liquid that they was just a little bit wider than uh, and thicker than a regular dried two before. So I had to plane them off so they'd fit those trailer pockets there on the put up mounted on the side. Uh, turned out pretty well, I think. I tried to stay ahead of the game here about two or three steps so I wouldn't get caught. Uh, well, what if I did this and then it didn't, then it would affect this. But I got, I ended up with two holes, one right there, actually three holes, with one right there and then one over here. That's where that four by four is mounted to the uh, frame of that, tra that garden tractor that I used, uh, so I had to move the screws back. Um, yeah, I was trying to prevent that, but it just uh, didn't work out that way. But I put these corner brackets on, like you and I discussed a little bit. That uh, it's not going anywhere. It's uh, it's in there pretty tight. Um, so what I did with the other two, I, bought, I ordered four of them. And what I was, did with the other two is I put them back here on the tailgate. And that uh, that worked out really well. I was going to put a... This has got a five-foot bed on it, 60 inches. And what I was going to do originally was take a couple pieces of angle iron, put them like this, have a slot here, and then drop this tailgate down. It. But I didn't want to lose any more of this bed. So that's why I put two more pockets on the back end and then put those corner brackets on. Uh, my next one I make, I'm going to put a six-foot bed on it, and I'll go ahead and use my angle iron that I bought and painted for that. But uh, actually, overall, it turned out pretty good. I painted the wheels, put new tires on front and back. Actually, it had, it had two front brand new front tires on when I bought it, but uh, somebody had beat the piss out of the rims on it, and one of them went home there, and somebody tried to take the rim off this side, and they beat the crap out of it getting it off, and it wouldn't hold there, and then the, I found a big old cut on the inside of the tire, so I just went ahead and bought a, a new rim and uh, two new rear tires for it. So it'll be... In good shape for a long time. So I bought a, a new rim for this side too. This is the one that was all beat up. Um, I used uh, that, uh, what was it, 5-4 decking planks for the deck. Uh, I stained it with used motor oil. And I Not only did it seal it, but uh, you get a little bit of color. I had one guy over at Home Depot said, I'll use that boiled linseed oil. But that stuff was like $50 for half a gallon. Uh, and, uh, you know what? I got to use the motor oil right there, and it's uh, it's free. So that's what I did. Actually, when I put that on, I let it set overnight. And the next day, it soaks in. It don't even feel oily. So that's kind of that kind of surprised me. I've never done that before. I've seen that on YouTube. And uh, I believe you was telling me that... Uh, um, You've heard of that, and you've seen it done, but I never did, so I, I was kind of impressed the way that turned out. Uh, I had to make numerous trips to the hardware store to get different size hardware for this thing to fit uh, all my boards and stuff. Uh, but all in all, I think uh, it turned out really well. So, Lee, if you got any questions when you get ready to do yours, uh, give me a call. And uh, I'll see if I can help you. Uh, the next one I've got, it's got a cast iron uh, front end on it. The steering spindle on the next one, instead of being straight out to the back, where I've turned this one around to the front, it almost comes out straight across here in the front just a little bit. So what I may end up having to do is weld a um, bar on it and come straight out here with it and then do the same thing 
with it with the linkage so but i don't know i'll get i'll get it figured out so one way or the other so but when i do i'll take video of that one too so anyway uh that's it for now uh i think i'm gonna one more thing i'm gonna do is uh since i'm gonna be pulling this down the road to go water irises i am going to get some uh led strobe lights and mount them on the back probably mount a bracket right underneath here on my four before i can do that but and then recess them in about an inch so they don't get knocked off uh other than that it is done and i'm ready to go hook it on the tr tractor and we'll see how this works out uh i don't know i may end up having to cut these off i don't think i will because it it'll turn it turns pretty far that uh, i didn't want to put a strain on this arm and the spindles over there so i don't know it may end up bending the tongue but we'll see if it does I'll, I'll i'll post an update so anyway that's it i'm out bye